Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my little Emacs series. Um, today we're going to look at TreeMax. So TreeMax is um, a tree layout file explorer for Emacs, as it says here. It's this little window on the left. Uh, as you can see, uh, it lists your folders and files uh, specifically in projects. So this is a specific project that put this the person, the, the, the GitHub repo, uh, the author of the, the, um, the plugin, has created so they've created a dot files uh, project within Tremax and it lists um, all the files within there. So it's not the same as a normal IDE where whatever folder you're in, it'll show the entire tree of of those files and the, the, uh, that directory structure. It, you specifically have to add uh, projects, which I actually prefer. Um, so let's have a look at some of the things. So Let's you view multiple file trees. So, yes, yeah, so you can have multiple projects open at once, which is also quite nice. Um, so it's not, again, like in a traditional file tree, wherever you are in the file hierarchy, um, that's what is reflected in the file window, the um, file explorer. Whereas in project um, TreeMax, it shows you can have multiple projects and jump between them, jump between the files within those projects. So it's it's very good for working on multiple projects at a time. Um, yep, easy navigation, file access. Uh, okay, every I didn't know this, but every frame will receive its own TreeMax buffer. That's actually pretty useful if you're working with multiple frames. Um, so follow mode, TreeMax can follow along, keep focusing the current selection file. Ah, okay, so if you open a file, it'll um, highlight it in the tree on the left. I guess you can switch that on and off. Get integ integration, which is good. Projectile integration. Um, got a mouse interface. Persists between sessions. Oh, so I guess that, okay, I guess that says it, it keeps where, where the file that you were in. Dashing good looks. <laughs> Um, in the eye of the beholder, uh, yeah. So theme and support, visual feedback, bookmarks, integrations. Um, and then there's some fancy gifs or gifs. I don't really care what you say. Um, showing it in action. So I mean, pff, uh, here you can see there's multiple workspaces, um, multiple projects within there. Um. Updates with the file system. So when the file system updates, it updates on the side here. Oh, yep, all those things got removed. Uh, reacts to Git as well, and mouse interface, resizable icons. Whoa, you can have really big icons if you like. Um, and then, yeah, it goes into it. So I'll have a link to this repo in the uh, in the description of this video, but let's let's just get it. Let's just get it installed. Um, so if we go over here, I updated this to include, I can just press tab and return and it goes to my init file, which um, is just this bit here, just the um, dashboard navigator buttons that I mentioned last last time, but I didn't actually um, set up. Anyway, use package tremax. Um, let's ensure it's installed. And I think that's the minimum we need. So if I do this, it should now install it. And if I Tremax, if I just do Tremax, oh, there we go. Tremax is here. Great. So as you can see, I can, I'm navigating up and down within Tremax. You can see the little um, kind of indication on the left-hand side. I can also use my mouse so I could Make a new file, make a new directory. So make a new directory. Tester, there it is, it gets added. So I can new file within there. Testing.org, and there you are. I can double click it. It opens. Lol. Uh, close that. I uh, can delete that. Yes. Oh, no, no, I don't want to delete transient. Let's just delete that. So there you go. You can use the mouse and you can navigate here. So if I do control C, control P, P. Oh, I thought that should um, control P, control C, control P. 
uh, Control C, Control P, and then yeah, Control C, Control Control C, Control P, and then you get um, some options. So E A uh, adds a project to the workspace. Uh, D deletes or removes. R renames a project, and C lets you collapse all projects, collapse the current project, and collapse other projects, which is handy. And I'm pretty sure you can, if I right click here, I can go on projects, and yeah, I can rename, remove, and add here as well. Oh, and you can, okay, that's cool. So you can hide and show dot files, useful stuff. Okay, so that's a basic installation. However, in this setup, if I, um, Open up another one, another another uh, window here. If I cycle through, you can see that TreeMax is part of that cycle, which which I don't I don't personally like. Um, so we'll go here, get rid of that. So what you can do is you can set some config. Um, so Q tree max is never other window. True. So if we set that, if I do Control X O now, oh hang on, for some reason I think it needs to be in there. Or maybe I need to kill TreeMax. Hmm. Let's wipe before, if that's okay. So if I TreeMax, get rid of it. Okay, and then execute that. And then TreeMax it up again. So I'm in TreeMax, Control O, Control X O. Yeah, so now when I Control X O, it. You know what? Let's show you. Let's get screen key started. So Control X O. Just just to prove I'm not a liar, I'm staying in this window, which means how do you now get to TreeMax? So I can run a command TreeMax select window, and that'll go over to TreeMax. I can also, you know, close TreeMax like that. But I don't want to do that every time. So we can add some more configurations to this. We can we can do some um, key binding. So, bind map, global map, one on the global map, um, and I like to set F8 to toggle tree max. It's just as a bare, bare minimum. So if we do that, execute that, and then if I F8, haha, tree max, and it goes to tree max. And then if I close it, there we go. So we're toggling tree max. Um, the other thing that I like to have is because I have F8 to toggle TreeMax, I have Control F8 for TreeMax select window. So now, if I execute all that, I can toggle TreeMax. I can Control X other window, which will move out of Emax. If I try and Control X O to go back to Tree Emax, back to TreeMax, it doesn't work. So. Now I can press Control F8 and I'm back in TreeMax and back in TreeMax. So Control F8, I stay in TreeMax. I've got to Control XO to get out of TreeMax, but I'm okay with that. I actually don't have TreeMax open that often. Um, so let's actually go over to TreeMax and let's uh, Control C, Control P, and let's add a project and we'll add test project here uh, and just the yep the project root is fine. So now you can see if I tab, I can, whoop. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I accidentally press Q and Q closes TreeMax too. Hmm. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, I I found that out by hit doing a typo, which in Emacs is, can be sometimes be a problem when you completely change your the screen layout or something because you've like, you know, you're offset on the keyboard by a bit. Um, so as I was saying before, you know, I can open up this, I can have test project on the go. I could be like, okay, my app um, def process something 
you know, and it's like print pros as in, and you know, you can imagine that this, um, let's say the module within test project was in a different, uh, was within a different project. So if I go back over to Tremax and control C, control P, add, and I can go module, yep. That, well, it's not going to do it because I'm already in it. But I could add sub module if I have a module somewhere else in, um, that, I, that um, I rely on in one of my projects, then I can load that up as well and I can easily switch between them. Um, I, forgot my, <laughs> I forgot my key bindings. So, yeah. So, that's the basics of projectile, um, tre projectile tree max. Um, so, yeah, some basic configuration. Obviously, there is. A lot more configuration so if we just look in here quickly so yeah you can set the indentation the width of it whether it shows hidden files um, whether it follows the file that you're in I mean it's there's a lot a lot a lot a lot so there is also um, not save search I'm so used to Emacs I need to find some kind of plugin um, extension that lets me control s rather than control f uh what did i want to look at projectile so projectile integration the tremax projectile package lets you add projectile projects to the tremax workspace so if we just find that so you can install tremax projectile to allow quick allow quickly to allow quickly adding your pro projectile projects to tremax so does it actually say in here how to do it? Oh, so look, there's this first press to summon help Hydra. So opening nodes, file manager. Does it give any more information? Trimax always sets the default directory parallel based on the nearest path. As quickly as, yeah, you've said that. So after, okay, so let's try this. Let's do uh, use package tree max projectile after tree max projectile. Ensure it's there. Let's do that. And then I guess we need to close tree max. Uh, and then if I open Tremax again and remove, oh, there's more options. So control C, control P. So what do we have here? Tremax add project, Tremax remove projects, Tremax projectile. So if I press P now, so I can add um, I've got it set up on my test test project. I had that first test project. What was that? What was that giving me? So if I control C P P, hmm. I'm not sure what that gives me. But anyway, you can do that. I'll have to investigate that a bit more. Um, so yeah, that's projectile. Projectile. <laughs> that's Tremax. I get so confused, all these names. So that's Tremax. Um, it's definitely worth checking out and using. I like. I, I don't know whether I've said, but I actually don't have it open that often. A lot of the time, I just leave it closed. I only use it occasionally if it's a project that I don't, I'm not familiar with, or you know, I need some kind of visual representation to figure out where files need to go. Um, but it is useful. It's useful to have the, and it's one of those things that a lot of people, when they move to Emacs, say, oh, you know, I can't do without it. Um, so this is how you can add it. That's how it works. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you are on YouTube, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And, you know, if you've got any comments, please do leave a comment. Um, you know, I will try to reply to people. Um, if you're on library, consider uh, following and tipping. Again, greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.